Welcome to the Vyond Podcast. You know, we spend so much time looking out into deep space, but uh, maybe the most exciting clues are right next door. Today, we're diving into Venus. Exactly. There's been this, well, pretty startling finding recently. Phosphine gas detected way up in the Venusian atmosphere. Phosphine. Okay, I've heard that name, but why is that? Why is that the headline grabber? Well, here on Earth, phosphine is uh, pretty strongly associated with living things, specifically anaerobic life organisms that don't need oxygen. Anaerobic, like uh, bacteria in swamps or something. Sort of, yeah. Think oxygen-poor environments. Mm -hmm. So finding it on Venus, a place we thought was, frankly, dead, Yeah. it's definitely intriguing. Intriguing feels like putting it mildly, and NASA seems to think so, too. Oh, absolutely. NASA Chief Jim Bridenstein actually called it the, and I quote, most significant development yet in building the case for life off Earth. Big words. Wow, okay, that's huge. So he's pushing for more focus on Venus then. He basically said we should be prioritizing Venus, which is a major statement. So what does prioritizing look like? Are there actual plans? Well, they're in the process. NASA is looking over four mission proposals right now. Four. And decisions could come, maybe, as early as next April. And... Are any of those specifically targeting this phosphine question? Two of them are, yeah. Two robotic probes designed specifically for Venus. Okay, tell me about those. All right, so one is called Devon CI plus EP. Think deep atmosphere Venus investigation. Its whole goal is to uh, drop a probe right into the atmosphere. Get down in there and sniff around, basically. Pretty much. David Grinspoon, an astrobiologist on that proposal team, said it's the logical next step, you know, to really see what's going on in the atmosphere. Makes total sense. Find the phosphine, figure out where it's coming from. What's the other one? The other one's called Veritas. That one's more about the bigger picture, mapping the surface, understanding Venus's geology, its history. So less directly about life, more about the planet itself. Right. But understanding how Venus got to be the way it is, geologically speaking, could give us vital clues about whether it could have supported life, maybe in the past, or even now, context is key. Okay, context. But let's get back to the phosphine. The huge question, right? Does this discovery actually mean aliens? Tiny little Venusian microbes floating in the clouds. Huh. Well, that is the million dollar question, isn't it? Look, the phosphine is a tantalizing clue, a really significant one, given the Earth connection. But, but much is not proof. Exactly. It's not a smoking gun just yet. Mm -hmm. There could potentially be some unknown geological or chemical process creating it that we just don't understand. Okay, I need more data. We definitely need more data. Those missions, like to Vinci I plus R, are crucial. But, you know, it fundamentally shifts our perspective. It puts Venus back on the map for astrobiology in a big way. Yeah, the idea that life could exist somehow on a planet that hot and, well, seemingly hostile, it's kind of mind-bending, really. It truly is. It forces us to rethink where life might be possible, even in our own solar system. A fascinating development, no doubt. It makes you wonder what else is out there waiting to be found. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come on the Vion Podcast.